Alright Sims fans, it's expansion pack time again. And for all those who use mods or create mods, it's time for a massive headache. Today I'm going to show you an easy way that you can update your mods or you can update other people's mods if they're too lazy to do it or they've left the community or whatever. This works with XML mods only. But I'll try to walk you through it. It's a somewhat simple process. Some files can be a little trickier than others, but you gotta do what you gotta do. The first thing we're gonna need is exam diff. This is gonna compare our two XML files that show us exactly what's different between them. This is also handy if somebody's made a great mod that you like, but you just We're also going to need S3PE, which is that sim logical, which this is the huge ass Earl, but if you Google sim logical, you should be able to find it. If you've been around the community, you should know all about this program. Another program we're going to need is Sims 3 Package Explorer. You can use S3PE to search too, but this is a little bit easier. And that was made by, I don't know, I'm hoping this, Okinos. I hope I said it right. Great little tool. Came out early on. It's been a favorite for my, of mine for searching. And we're also going to need search, we're going to need Notepad++. You can edit in normal Notepad, but there's a reason we're going to use Notepad++, and that's the handy little line numbers. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, look, kitties. Uh, here's I. What I did is I separated my. I just created a new EA folder called the EA2, renamed my original one, and let the game generate a new one. That way, I started with vanilla game. So these are my old mods. Stuff that probably needs updating. Let's see. Well, let's go with down with homework. Now, if the modder was nice, you can just get the name of the XML you need. If he was, if they weren't. And it's just a blank there. You can search via the instance. But since I did these, I was nice enough to include the name for my own convenience. So we're going to export that as X, as the default. Which apparently I've already done, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll do it again. Now we're going to open up. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. Sims 3 Package Explorer. And we're going to need to open our gameplay data, which this varies by, by, by expansion pack, but after generations, everything they've done has pretty much been shoved into the default location of the game. Sims 3 Game Bin Gameplay Data. Yeah. Okay, now we know that we're looking for homework XML. So we type in homework. And there it is right there. I'm going to sh show you how to get the instance and search that too. So we copy our instance, drop that. and we put it in the wrong location. There we go. You put in ID, not type ID. Type ID is file type, like phones and XMLs and stuff like that. So we have our homework. So we're going to extract that. I've created a folder 
called Pets Compare. And what I've been doing is I export the original as the original, then I just add pets on the end. Keeping everything open, let's just go to exam diff. And it'll bring up two files. File one we're going to choose is going to be our default homework. And file two is going to be the ones with pets amended on the end. Okay. Now it will highlight differences in the files. Some stuff you want to be changed because this is what I've done to make my changes to the mod. This is what it was originally. This is what I set it at. And we just scroll down. And thankfully this, this is where the problems come in. This whole area right here where there's nothing. These are the mods that are going to be problems and going to need updating. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to my computer and Sims 3 Workshop blah 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 where you saved your compare files and we're going to open our original homework. But we're going to edit with Notepad++. See the handy little numbers? If I just open with Notepad, no handy little numbers. It's a big jumbled mess and I'd have to use find and locate each line individually and if they've made a lot of changes this can be quite time consuming but now that we ha have our handy little numbers over here we can look and see that we need to go to line 64 which should be species to effect Species to effect, and after that should come copy and broadcast parameters. So we just hit enter and paste. I don't know if that's necessary or not, but I move it back to where it is in this file just in case. And that's the only change we have to make for that file. So we save, or we could use save as, anyway, then we go back to our original thing, and we import from file, and we want homework, make sure we ain't got the one that says pets on the end, okay, and we import, all this stays the same, okay, and we save as and I've just been copying the name of the original mod and where the hell is it and saving as, as that with pets on the end and that's all there is to it that was a relatively simple file Compare them, same length. Only changes are the ones I've made. Simple. Now, things like this mod that I made, as you'll see, and apparently I'm running the corrected file, so you won't see. Such as life. Try to show. Okay, let's take the original and try it again. 
<laughs> but as you see here, <laughs> name that different from my edited one so I can find it. But as you can see here, and this should be pets, okay. This file had a lot of missing data. They've added somewhat like 170 lines of code in this. And this would be a fucking nightmare. And it was. And they've even deleted a line for some reason. I don't know why. But they did. So that's basically all there is to it. Like I said, this will work on XML mods only. You might be able to do it with iTunes or iTuning or whatever, whatever it's called. But like core mods, you probably couldn't be doing. And for people that do core mods, this is a simple XML mod and it was a massive overtaking to update it so people like Pescado who do core mods and stuff like awesome mod show a little sympathy for these people okay because they're just one person and this can be a massive undertaking and Biscotto, I'm surprised he ain't climbed the clock tower and started sniping people by now. Because Awesome Mod needs to be updated every patch. And they've released, what, like 900 patches over the years? And he has to put up with people badgering him. You know, show a little sympathy for your modders. If you can do it yourself, do it yourself. You know, this isn't that hard. in most cases and hopefully this will help you update your files